Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Line Plays The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Ignore the mouse pointer. You don't even have to see it anymore. Don't even worry about it. We're doing our Eve run right now. Z9JJV4RW. Let's get a, a move on here. I'm ready. I'm excited. I'm dialed in. I'm turned on. Uh, I'm out of my dreams and into my car. That doesn't really... Get out of my dreams, get into my car. It's like... I wonder if that line has ever worked on anybody in history. You know, you know the song. Get out of my dreams, get into my car. It sounds a little menacing, doesn't it? Get out of my dreams! Get into my car! It's like, oh, hold up there, Christian Bale. Acting a little bit more like the machinist right now than I would appreciate. If you could please hold off on that. Maybe we can meet uh, via public transportation in a very, very public place first, and then I'll decide whether I'll get into your car. Uh, not only are you quite forceful, uh, it appears you're dreaming about me, which implies some level of uh, uh, preoccupation, I would say. And then, beyond that, I don't even know you could be a shit driver. Get out of my dreams. I need a DD now. Hey, whoa, 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 okay. We're absolutely fine, despite taking a very shit amount of damage right there, or at least a shit type of damage right there. But this is okay. Shit damage as Eve is... Completely uh, acceptable, I think. All we need to do is make sure that we have a spirit heart to back ourselves up, ideally, and then we can put ourselves in the Horror of Babylon state and just, you know, spin to win. We just beat the game. What's spinning and spin to win? Uh, the hands of a clock. As we slowly get closer and closer to, you know, both the victory of this run, but also our inevitable deaths as, you know, organic creatures and members of the human race. Um, that's That's some damage I'm not thrilled about. But, we are going to have a lot more damage as a result, which I'm assuming is going to make Shoop the Whoop much better as well. So this room definitely does not require our Shoop the Whoop. I don't think we want it. Yeah, I don't think we need it, actually. I may take it down to the next floor. It depends what I get here. It might not matter. Like, if we get a red heart here, we might as well try to take it down to the next floor. Um, I, I'm not really worried about a streak, which is weird. Ah, uh, let's take it. Because we should be on a streak. That's good. That's not. That's not. That doesn't matter. Uh, let's just try it like this. Um, we should be on a streak, but we're not, and it's exclusively because of, like, video rendering errors. Like, not even rendering, but, like, video, uh, production errors. My driver's been crashing and, you know, costing me runs from time to time, or Mr. Green Man shows up and I'm like, ah, fuck it. So, we've won, like, a lot in a row, but some of those have not, or some of the losses, I should say, have not seen the light of day. Or have come from uh, secondary sources, I would describe them as. So I'm just waiting for Are You a Wizard to wear off. I mean, you know, I'm impatient, but I'm not an idiot. We are on the cellar. And I would rather, if possible, not have to worry about... Oh! Oh, God. Are You a Wizard bullshit on the cellar? Um, we took a hit from a bomb fly there. Bomb spider, uh, I should say. It's gonna be... It's gonna be a little scary for, for a time being. I just want you to, you know, hold me closer, Tony Danza, and, and realize it's all going to be okay. I think at this point we have to pick this up. We've probably squandered a deal with the Devil Chance, which is really, really frustrating. But we could still make it work as long as we don't take any Red Heart damage against the boss. We can now buy a Spirit Heart, which again, refer back to uh, Exhibit A number 1, where I said that that was very frustrating, because... I feel like we could have been able to avoid that, but we would have lost our HP there anyway. Or, like, lost our Horror of Babylon because of... Uh, SMB super fan. Probably it's in our best interest to maybe use a key, go to the shop, walk into the fire on the shop, or we could just get hit here for that matter. Um, walk into the fire on the shop and then try to buy a spirit heart, but let's, let's make sure there's a spirit heart there available first. There is, so let's walk into the fire. And it's not like we were going to buy anything else here, so we might as well just... Be okay with that. 9 volt would actually be a really good pickup as well if we can get the money for it. Which of course I'm skeptical of considering we just spent almost all of it, but if we end up being able to swing that, like if we find an arcade or something, that'd be sweet. But if we find an arcade, probably would have preferred to have not uh, hurt myself in those fires when the blood bank was right there. We're doing a ton of damage. What we need to do is just ensure that we don't take any damage, and then we have a chance. An outside chance admittedly, but a chance nonetheless at getting a deal with the devil here. Unfortunately, our earlier transgressions have sort of fucked us. Uh, let's head down to the next floor. We're rushing a little bit, but this is what happens when you've got great damage from the start. Torn Photo, also an awesome pickup. So we'll 
be happy to have Shoop the Whoop actually as well. Like because of our Horror of Babylon damage, it's actually this weird intersection that normally doesn't happen with Shoop the Whoop where we're fighting weak enemies and we have good damage. Normally you fight weak enemies, you have shit damage because you just started the game. Or you fight strong enemies and you have good damage, but you know, proportionally you're still in the same the same boat, aren't you? Uh nothing for us up there. That is extremely useful. Now the only thing that's, I, I don't want to call it a blessing, but uh, maybe the silver lining of the dark cloud of not getting a deal with the devil on the last floor is that we are guaranteed to get one on this floor if we don't take red hard damage. So uh, that doesn't mean that it was the right decision to fuck up, but it does mean that we might not be punished for it. You know, we all knew a kid in high school who fucked up all the time. But, uh, you know, teachers and, and his parents kept giving him, like, extra chances and stuff like that, and then eventually it works out for him. We are gonna be that kid that everybody hates right here, or everybody is envious of, at least. Smart Fly. It's pretty good. It's basically a better version of the item we already had in the form of the dead bird. This is gonna hurt if we can't get out of the way, but luckily we did. Tears up. If, of all the pills we've taken so far, that is exactly the one that I wanted to see more of, so that's fine. And, uh, let's do that. Surprisingly effective, don't you think? Like, this is... I've, I've used Shoop the Whoop a little bit more lately. As I've sort of come around to it, I suppose. And it's starting to make me feel like it, it actually is a more viable item than I've given it credit for. Which, by the way, is not my own uh, revelation. People were basically like, you know, leave Brittany alone. But more like, you know, stop talking shit about Shoop the Whoop. Shoop the Whoop is good. And I was like, yeah, whatever. These people don't know anything. I got real platinum god. I know everything about Isaac. Until I realized I didn't know shit. The day I came to YouTube. But anyway, let's uh, kill these guys. Probably do this extra bonus room as well. Just to see what it is. And it's, it's annoying. Not that I regret it, but it is an annoying room to have to do. But I'm doing it so we can get Shoop the Whoop active. The, of course, irony of the situation is probably that it would have been better for us to use Shoop the Whoop on that room if we had had it, but we didn't. And actually, you know what? Shoop the Whoop did a pretty good number on Chad as well. So we're gonna get a little Chad here. It's like the item straight out of my nightmares. That's a Freddy Krueger is the guy you want out of your dreams and into your car. And then you want to lock the doors, drive your car over a freaking cliff or something. Little Chad is gonna be dangerous, almost to the extent that I thought about not taking it. We're gonna take Dark Matter, and we should take one more, and it should probably be Book of Belial if we're being realistic. But I was thinking, you know, I've been liking Shoop the Whoop, but it's not good enough. So we got a good damage upgrade plus Fear Shot plus Book of Belial. That's solid. Nothing wrong with that. I do want to open that, but it's it's not quite worth it. So now the other uh, added benefit is that we've traded enough HP that we can't possibly throw ourselves out of Horde Babylon State for at least the near future. Which is exciting. We can get used to this damage bonus. We are also like super ahead of schedule for boss rush, which is very nice. And did it take every ounce of, uh, of, uh, you know, self-control within my body to not do a Borat impression there? It might have, but there's a thin line between, you know, Scott Ackerman and, and Michael Scott. So I want to straddle the line with uh, Discord and Rhyme. I'm on the hunt. I'm after you. Careful. If you could pop up, thank you. Ah, uh, one's dead. Ah, uh, Central Park. In Newark? Please. Alright, pill. Do I want this pill? Is it pill nigh the science pill? You don't have to laugh at that. You could, but you don't have to. Alright, let's get out of here. So far, so good. This is actually like an extraordinarily winnable Eden run. Normally, I think the best strategy on that room is think just long enough to know what the room is and then get the fuck out of there. Don't let your brain overwork itself. Because really, like, I walk into that room, my brain is like, just engage spike shooter pattern, and then I do it and we're good to go. Most of the time. Still fairly likely to make a mistake. It's not, not rare, necessarily, but it's rarer than the alternative. Okay. Didn't use Book of Belial at all. Saved it for the deal with the devil. We have that luxury. I'm not saying it's the right play, but we have that luxury based on the fact that we uh, have such good damage already. Now I'd love to get some piercing shots. So Death's Touch. I always feel bad asking for Death's Touch, but I think it's the only piercing shot except like Brimstone and Mom's Knife that shows up on the deal with the devil. Cat of Nine Tails is great, and we can only take one. And only being able to take one of these, I'm going to go Ceremonial Robes. Because it puts us low on HP, uh, which is bad. 
but it also gives us more HP, which is great. Everything else would have put us low on HP and not given us anything. They would have given us benefits. I think Little Brimstone was actually the worst of those, or the, the least good of those. It's weird because uh, Little Brimstone and Spirit of the Night were two hard items. I was pretty close to taking Spirit of the Night, but I was like, yeah, let's just stack up like raw damage. I think it was the right idea. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. We'll find out eventually, I'm sure. Or maybe we won't. The other thing about Ceremonial Robes, uh, although I guess any item would have done this, yeah, we'll take it, is that it puts us in a position where uh, even if we pick up one more HP upgrade, we can't fuck up our Horror Babylon state. So we got a luck downgrade, and then enough money to buy something else, which is actually incredible. Don't crash on me now, Display Driver. I believe in you. Turdy Touch. It's pretty bad. We're so far ahead of schedule. We're like four minutes ahead of schedule. That's awesome. Uh, let's buy the key as well. Normally, maybe a little bit cost prohibitive to spend that much money in the shop, but our secret room made that actually very likely for us. And we'll blow these up to try to get Magic Mushroom, but whatever. It didn't work out. We know there's a tiers upgrade in our rotation as well. That would be valuable to have if we could swing it. But for now, it's down to the next floor. I don't know why I put on the Rob Schneider trailer voice for that one. But for now, Rob Schneider is the dude who sang, Get out of my dreams, get into my car. It's not really the voice either. I'm not a good voice guy. You should hear me sing in rock band. It's just a... It's a fucking nightmare. Unless it's a... Uh, a song by Eddie Vedder. Of Pearl Jam fame. Not in Pearl Jam I can't do, but Eddie Vedder solo? No problem, dog. That is my jam. Is this room over? Now it is over. Okay. What a waste. Still, like, several minutes ahead of schedule for Boss Rush. No teleport, but maybe if we get starter deck, you know, we can do something with the luck down pill. The luck down pill is a resource. I, I don't want to give it up for nothing. I expect we will probably get nothing out of it, but there's a chance we could turn this shit into a diamond. Which I don't think is how gemologists work, but wouldn't it be a, the world, wouldn't the world be a more magical place if that were the case? Good stuff. Ends. Careful. And we're safe. Probably will check the shop. I want to fight Greed now. It's the right time. Man, that is like starter, not starter deck. It's the pill version of starter deck, little baggy. And a bunch of other horse shit I don't care about at all. Let's move on here. That is a potential teleport chance for us. And an obvious secret room tell. And I'll just walk on the creeps there because I felt bad. I felt like we should have taken damage on there earlier. Steam sale would be good timing. Sweet. It worked. I don't really want uh, demon tail. Instead, I'll take Steam Sail, and we get a free Curse Room, which provides us with pretty much just frustration. I still don't want anything from our shop. I just got excited that there was a Curse Room there, before realizing I'm actually a, a dumb idiot, and the missing link between the greater apes and man. Uh, crawl Space. If you ask for it exactly the same number of times, it's gonna work out for you. That's just science. Okie dokie. These guys are easy. It's kind of a long floor. I mean, admittedly, we're still way ahead of schedule for Boss Rush, but... Starting to realize that the game is maybe getting stronger faster than we are. Kind of weak on consumables as well. Nice. Alright, we gotta kind of harp on these. Well, I'm not gonna complain as long as we're able to do that much damage. And we get another fly that only does damage after we uh, hit an enemy, or after, sorry, after we get hit, but I'm not gonna complain because that actually turned us into Lord of the Flies. So we had uh, Revenge Fly and Hive Mind. Thank God we bought that. Basically, we just bought a free ability to fly. And, um, and then the one we just picked up, Swarm Protector. Rarest transformation out of the two that are in the game, but, uh, and also much, much worse than just becoming Guppy. But I will take it. The free ability to fly also makes me feel completely justified for not picking up uh, Spirit of the Night on that deal with the devil. And I think instead we went with the right item probably, Ceremonial Robes. Little Brimstone, I had it recently and it was just like, ah, eh, kind of like, it got scaled out too quickly. Alright, double Gertie Jr. This is beautiful. We'll just hang out down here. Gertie Jr. can shoot, so we will have to be careful about that, but not too careful. One Gertie is already dead. The other Gertie is going to be completely afraid, and our job is done. Deal with the devil. 
Screw is fine, and then we can choose whether or not to take these deals based on how shitty they are. Oh, perfect. Uh, probably we'd be best off just uh, ignoring Krampus's head, taking Lump of Coal. I think Lump of Coal would actually be awesome for us, because our rate of fire is really good. Ah, uh, well. We don't need Lump of Coal. We're better off with Book of Belial. So we got six and a half minutes uh, if we want to get into Boss Rush. I think we would like this. Was this worth it? Absolutely not. But I want to see if we can get some good pills or maybe even some, some teleporters of some sort. I'm going to hold the luck downgrade. Definitely should have, by the way, uh, waited for a room and then use Book of Belial here. As you can see, our damage is kind of shitty. At least for dealing with these bosses over and over and over again. Like a... Uh, like a monkey with a miniature symbol? I was trying... It's been a while. 06 was a long time ago. Not that it's not a great song. Okay, I will... Uh, I still have one key left. If we get a key, I'll do the double key room right now. If not... Hey, there you go. We don't need to worry about the if not condition. Sweet. Uh, actually, not at all sweet, though. Basically, we traded a key and a bomb for a little bit of money we don't really need. That's the way the cookie crumbles, though. Terrible damage. I forgot we had dirty touch as well. I don't really like a run uh, like this right now that is built around giving us advantages when we take damage. I think it's pretty suboptimal. Chaos card, much better than Lockdown. Drop a bomb here because we really would love to see a teleport card. Justice. Not a teleport card, but an extra spirit heart is super nice. Actually, an extra consumable of every category is super nice. Though I think I dropped the key in the chasm by using the pill there. Oh, I lost my spirit heart already because I'm an idiot. Okay. Play it cool here. This is not going super well on this floor so far. We got Ghost Baby. Does that make it all worthwhile? No, absolutely not. Ghost Baby's kind of shitty. There's a Tinted Rock, though. Remember that. Get a bomb. I mean, it's not like we have... Uh, Anything else we'd like to use our bombs for on this floor, except, you know, literally blowing up every single skull to try to find a teleportation card so I could have a, a good chance to get an item that might give me a much better chance of winning the game? That's another luck down pill, but who wants to win the game anyway? Gotta die sometime, right? And it can't always be display drivers. Can't it? Above all else, uh, boss rush is kind of secondary to making sure that we at least have enough HP to take a deal with the devil, if it's good. If it's great, we'll probably try to find a way to take it regardless, you know, get a 9 lives pickup, it doesn't matter how much HP you have. Get an Abaddon pickup, it doesn't matter how much HP you have. To a lesser extent, that's true of the Mark and the Pact as well. But, uh, outside of those, it gets a little finicky. Luck upgrade is great, and Mom's Key for sure, and probably we'll buy this key, and definitely the Spirit Heart. Probably good to buy BOGO bombs, and then we'll donate as much as we can. We pretty much cleared out the shop here. Idea behind BOGO bombs is that we need a lot of bombs on this floor. We might not need them later, but if we can get some benefit out of them on this floor, that's that's something, man. And then we'll just pay it forward for the future. Can't believe there was no bomb for sale. And, okay, try to get these guys to explode on the skulls. Uh, this is surprising, would be one way I would put it. One, two, nothing but two bombs. Okay, so we can go back plenty of time. That's the most important thing here. We've had great damage for a long time. So let's go back. We're going to blow up uh, the Tinted Rock, and we're going to blow up the juiciest Skull Patch we can find. Which, Skull Patch is like a Soul Patch, but for your head. It's when, you know, guys are balding, but they're not really used to shaving their heads, so they have like a little bit of a patch up near their crown. Uh, and you're always like, what's up with that? And it's just like, you know, they don't, they don't know. I've been there, you know? It took a long time to get the, you know, the skills to keep myself as gloriously manicured as I do now. Uh, I'm joking, of course. I am a slob. Where is, uh, this? We will open it. Gave us more bombs, which is good. We'll actually do some exploring, because we got so much time. Not that many rooms, unfortunately, but definitely time is on our side. Is that it? No, not quite. Hmm. It's unfortunate that we can't cheese this chaos card somehow. Just like, you know, throw the chaos card at a boss room item, or sorry, boss rush item, and then just immediately, uh, you finished. Congratulations. But I guess that's kind of convenient, a little overly convenient for me right now. 
And our secret room, our last bastion of potential safety, I don't think is going to hook us up here. Just a lot of money. Or a decent amount of money. All right, well, let's, uh, let's fight. Let's blow up one skull at a time here. And then after that, let's fight. That's extremely unfortunate. Okay, any skulls on the way back, we're going to bomb them. Oh, we only have one bomb, so we'll bomb this one, and we're good. All right, now our decision has been made for us, so we will we will leave. And I still think this is a very winnable run, 6 HP. Don't take much against Mom, get a decent deal with the Devil on, like, the Krampus fights, and we'll see what goes on. Definitely do not want to use, uh... Do not want to use Chaos Card here. Much more valuable on, like, a double gate room or something like that. And uh, keep in mind, Revenge Fly, kind of like, uh... That was a terrible fight, but kind of like a little bit of a uh, orbital there. We have to do Death's Touch. As much as it puts us in an unbelievably scary position, it's also our only way out. Uh, I would love to take Quad Shot. We really can't. We really, really can't. So we have to we have to live until we can get a Spirit Heart. A little dangerous. XL Floor does not help. This could be the end of our lives, especially considering we have $3 bill. We'll call on the power of the Sleep Country Canada theme song to carry us. Sleep Country Canada, why buy a mattress anywhere else? And then all of a sudden we'll get a spirit heart from this dingle and we're back in business, right? No. Such a huge hitbox on these tiers that actually they can hit the enemies even when they're being blocked, which is awesome. What are we looking for? Oh, fuck this room. <laughs> Predominantly... We're looking for, uh, Tinted Rocks. It's one of those weird situations where, like, I kind of want to fight the boss right away. The reason I want to fight the boss right away is because we can Chaos it if it's tough. And you know what? It's tough enough. I know we're going to fight Mom's Heart next, but I really wanted to pick up an item. I was really hoping that it would not be, um, not HP. Unfortunately, we have found out that it is not HP. Did you see those invisible shots there a second ago? Freaking me out. Um, I, I really wanted to... I put all our eggs in that basket, basically. That doesn't mean we're going to lose. There's a tinted rock on here that I can see. Oh! It came out of fear, like, real fast. No bombs. Tears up is good, but... Okay, we, now we have an out. We have the one, one of two puzzle pieces we need here in order to survive this floor. And it's not even just this floor. This is like... You know, this is a big deal. This could be the whole run right here. Two spirit hearts. That's the better than we could have possibly hoped for, I think. So we'll come in here, and then we'll pop Book of Belial immediately. And I'm hoping, against hope, we're one-shotting those guys, and we are. I don't know if we have, like, a great $3 bill effect right now or something, but... This is excellent. We're doing a ton of damage. And I took a hit... That was me breaking in the wrong direction there, but that's okay. Tinted rocks are a little bit more abundant on the chest, and man, we got through the depths or the womb there incredibly quickly. So as much as I think that probably, you know, we have to go through that big room at some point, I'm going to slow it down, and we're going to do the small rooms first. The reason we're going to do the small rooms first... Oh, that was extremely lucky. I figured I'd just freeze. I'd let the game decide whether or not I took damage, but um, we're going to do the small rooms first because I... Uh, I think there's a high chance of finding a Tinted Rock, a much less chance of us taking two damage and dying. Almost done. Almost done. He's never going to jump on top of a rock, so I guess if we can just put ourselves kind of strategically around there, we lower our chances of getting hit. That is awesome. Bad Trip completely nullifies that Spirit Heart we just picked up. That is hilarious. Also incredibly unfortunate, but I think you gotta you got to have a little bit of a sense of humor about it. Very fast run, though, and that's... Some more uh, bombs. I hope that we'll need those. Be afraid. Easy room. Uh, no Tinted Rock, though. And we found our boss. This is scary, but also awesome. Uh, we have Book of Belial already, because I, as usual, have played way more conservatively than I actually should have. Check for a second secret room, just because we have maybe one or two extra bombs we'll never need. Like, we're never going to find Tinted Rocks on the next floor. We get a black card out of it. Yeah, I mean, why not use the Joker on the next floor? I don't want to use it on this one and possibly uh, out like, think myself out of a victory, right? 
Now, if we get two Joker cards on the next floor, like one the one we're holding and then one also just randomly on the next floor, yes, I will be very disappointed because we could have gotten two deals with the Devil. But it's not like we have the HP really to do two deals with the Devil anyway. I can't believe that this run has been so fast. Mostly, like, it's going to seem like I rushed just because the timer is really low. But a lot of this really just comes down to picking the right direction on the Cathedral and especially on the Womb XL. Like, I got to skip probably six or seven minutes of gameplay from being on the Womb XL. And then it's just like Horror Babylon uh, being active since the second floor. So we're, like, completely fine here. I really do not expect us to take damage from Isaac on this fight. It's a very easy Isaac fight. He's afraid all the time. He never gets to do more than shoot one wave, and, and he'll be dead here. We'll open our chests, get a Joker card, and then, or use our Joker card, and then see what the heck's going on. This still could be very touch and go, though. Very, very touch and go. PhD is good. Uh, Mini Mush is fine. Gimpy could be incredible. Punching Bag is maybe okay, but I probably should have chosen not to take it. Are You a Wizard is our good pill. And our, <laughs> our deal with the devil is the pact. So I will take it, and luckily for me, that only represents a one spirit heart loss. And then there were those two black hearts in there anyway. So I actually gained one black heart in this situation, which is pretty sweet. And then um, the pact itself is going to give us a, a pretty nice DPS bonus. And I'm going to fuck it up by killing, or shooting these guys like exactly the same number of times each, and making it take twice as long to kill them. And be extremely dangerous. I would kill for a red heart here, man. Permanent Polaroid invincibility means, like, very little to me. My own fault for taking damage there, of course. Oh, this is great. Triple shot on this room. We've wedged ourselves in the corner to great effect. One's gotta go. Yeah, there we go. And that was actually a really good instance of Punching Bag being awesome there. We'll check that pill. But first, oh, very satisfying room. When you have Death's Touch, anyway, we have no interest in using our Book of Belial yet. It's too easy. Health up. Yeah, okay. And then we get the best of both worlds. We get an extra hit and still have invincibility. And uh, no no question, we're going to stay in the Horror of Babylon state as well. You know what? Book of Belial. Got to use it at some point. Might as well be now. Pestilence stands no chance. Game's getting a little framey. Lots of stuff on the screen. Don't don't crap out on me, Display Driver. I believe in you. I know there's a lot of flapping wings wings right now. Oh, we are gonna win this run. That was a that was a tough one, uh, but also extremely. It was the easiest tough run I've ever had. I'm excited. It's like if that was a guppy item. Tears up is great. Range up is like mostly worthless, but that's okay. Is it worth coming into this fight without having a uh, Book of Belial? I mean, we could have waited. Fine, those are like the first flies that have ever helped us with Hive Mind. I really appreciate it. You guys are too kind to me. I'm almost tempted to take one hit. Where did we... I must have picked up extra HP like an idiot. I know we had a half heart, but my invincibility is ruined. We're almost done, though. Yeah, this was like a really fun kind of, you know, edge of your seat Eden run the whole way through. We never knew that we had it on lock until basically right now. Uh, and I would I would do that run 10 times out of 10 if they give it to me. Lots of fun items, lots of cool risk-reward decisions. For now, though, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.